Hi friends, it's Katie Steinberg here with you again uh, and have for you once again this week's message from Missing Peace. Um, I want to tell you this week we were out at the beach doing Salty Fit led by Jenny Zimmett. This is one of our physical weeks out of our rotation of physical, cerebral, spiritual, and service. So we had a lot of fun out there. Um, but before we get to the message, this coming week we'll be meeting at Central Park in Ormond Beach at the Labyrinth. Uh, it's off of Hammock Lane if you're looking for it. And the Labyrinth, if you've never done one, is this really unique experience to sort of mirror life's journey, but on the smaller journey of this sort of weaving path that is uh, drawn into the ground. And uh, it's a really moving spiritual experience. So um, I invite you to join us, of course. And if you are unable to, I invite you to look around your area and see if you can find a labyrinth that you could take part in, because uh, it really is a moving and meaningful experience. Um, and without further ado, here's this week's message from Missing Peace. In a couple of weeks, we'll be entering the season called Advent. Advent is the season of waiting, of expectancy. It's the season when Christians all over the world will commemorate the coming of the Christ child. This season of expectancy mirrors the historical context for the Christ story. The people of Israel were also waiting. They were awaiting the prophesied Messiah a savior that would overcome their current oppression under the Romans and do away with the corruption of their religious institutions. But how? How could any one person overcome an oppressive empire and a deeply corrupt, widespread religious one also? It would take a God to do this thing, a God made flesh. Wherever you are in your belief, or your struggle to believe, or your disbelief, this story invites us to think about and engage with a God who isn't just ruling from above like the tyrannical governments of then and even now, but instead who gets dirty alongside us. A God who is deeply present. A God who Jesus beckons us to realize is among us. Mirrored in a loving father who welcomes home a prodigal son. Evidenced in a good Samaritan who helps when no one else will. Exampled in a generous vineyard owner and all the other teachings of Jesus. The theological word for this God in the flesh is incarnation. It means to make it real, to make it tangible as if this never adequate conception of God is somehow less real or less complete until it is made real in the Christ event. And is it not the same with us? Until we put flesh on the things we profess, until we embody what we say and think and feel, is it real? My dad had this saying growing up, he told me, Kate, if what someone says differs from what someone does, believe what they do. The proof is in the pudding, friends. That's why at Missing Peace, we insist on taking this journey in mind, spirit, body, and service. It's all part of it. And in some ways, it isn't fully realized until we engage our physicality. Whether that's the work we do serving, or like we did Sunday, using our bodies our physical self, which is as deeply and truly a part of us as our thoughts and deeds and spirit. So Sunday, we focused on our physicality. We were deeply present and keenly aware of our physical self. And as we pushed our limits doing salty fit with Jenny, remembered the sacred nature of our body, our temple, that allows us to put flesh on what we think and feel, that allows us to engage with this world in meaningful ways, that makes us real and me, me, and you, you, and whole every bit as much as the mind and the spirit do. May what we say match what we do. 
May who we are spiritually, intellectually, and physically, and in service to others, be aligned with the source of all goodness, hope, and peace attested to in the scriptures. May our words become flesh and dwell in the world. Amen. After this message, we went down on the beach and did a lot of work. We sweated in the salt air. We experienced life in its fullness, fully aware and keenly engaged with our physicality as we exercised our physicality. And we thank, thank again uh, Jenny Zimmett for her leadership in that. And um, again, I want to invite you this coming week. We'll be at the Labyrinth at Central Park and joining together there talking about the spiritual nature of that uh, journey in mini miniature that mirrors and reflects um, the journey we're all on through this life. If you'd like to keep up with Missing Peace, I invite you to do that by texting PEACE to 33222. Or you can also follow us here on Facebook, on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter. And always feel free to check out ormondsmissingpeace.com and connect with us, email, any of that. We're always happy to connect with you. Grace and peace, my friends.